LinkedIn says we're not approved. Okay, then just forget it. Hello, everyone. We are here live with Design Your Life. And again, I am here with my very good friend, Arti Chakrabarti with Tickle Your Palette. And, you know, we had learned so much last time from you, Arti. And so we have you on here again because people seem to be very, very excited about going out finally. Now, we are allowed small gatherings. The maximum is 25. But, you know, it is safe, I think, to have about 10 people. Um, if you want to have people over, that, you know, I think 10 people is good to keep a distance. Um, I happened to do it last night. I just had two of my friends over, and we had such a great time. Um, we want you to start going back to normal life. Now, when going back to normal life, we still have to be very, very safe, and we have to make sure that we are wearing our masks or we are doing the whole COVID um, safety where we're serving plates, we're serving small plates, and we're letting everyone take their own but not actually um, grab, or you don't want people dipping. So an example is if you have guacamole, you want to make your own little guacamole so that everybody has their own personal, and then they have a little glass of chips or something and they take their own chips so you know today arthi one thing that you're very good at and thank god that you're great at is doing very fancy small plates yes um and you make it very personalized and you also put so much thought into it i love the thought that you put into every single thing that you do thank you thank so you, thank you. um what i'm very excited about is you guys i want to put the first item up because i couldn't believe how fancy it was but how easy it is to make so this was something which I thought, you know, since you're not going to have so many people over um, and you're going to be able to make everyone have their own little appetizer or a little dish. Let's talk about this, Arthi. What is this? OK, this is one of the most simplest thing. I mean, it looks very fancy, but it is so simple. At the bottom, you see it's mango salsa. So this is mango salsa. Yeah, OK, just plain mango salsa with onion, tomatoes, green chilies, mangoes in it and lemon juice. Lemon juice. Okay. And then on top of it is actually the cup that you see, it's popper. That's popper. So you made a popper cup. Yeah. It's basically popper. Okay. So do, do we get mini poppers that size? Yes. You get mini poppers. So all you have to do is fry it. And when you take it out, just put it on a bowl. So it takes that shape. Oh, that's correct. Yeah. It takes a minute to take the exactly. shape. Exactly. So it takes it makes that shape, right? And on top of it, I have chicken in it. Now, the chicken is actually sauteed in a little bit of masala in it, mm -hmm. but the color that you see is actually not a food color. It's actually beetroot paste. So you have chicken with beetroot paste. Yes. And you just sauteed it. Yes. How amazing. Yes. Okay. And it's just a dry chicken. It's just a dry chicken. And you can do that with paneer. That's right. You can also put paneer. Yes. So you can paneer, put paneer or paneer, chicken. Cauliflower, uh -huh. potatoes, whatever you want. Mix vegetables, but it has to be something dry because otherwise the papad is going to get soggy. Correct. Okay. And um, is this something that we can give our viewers a recipe? Yes. Okay. So this is a mango, like a mango. Mango salsa. It's mango great. salsa, it's like a mango easy. chutney. Okay. Yeah. And then it's poppered on top and it is um, pieces of chicken or yes. paneer, paneer or gobi or whatever it is whatever that you want to put. Want. Whatever you want. I mean, you can do mixed veggies or, you know, you want to do lamb. You know, the cubes of oh, lamb. Oh, lamb would be really yes. good too. Goat meat. I mean, you can do all of that. So it's it's actually perfect. It's very versatile. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And then you can hand it to each one of your guests as an yes. appetizer. And it's a beautiful appetizer. Um, and people are going to go crazy. Yeah. And they're not going to touch anybody's stuff. Yes. They're going to have their own little fork. Yes. And they're, that there you guys are. You're going to be so safe. So um, for those of you who just got on, this is a small plate that you can serve to each one of your guests when they come over. Um, it's a mango salsa with chicken. And it's separated by a popper, which is so cool. And we are going to give you the recipe after the show. There is a link that you can click on above this um, video. You click on the link, fill it out, put your email address and write recipes. And we will make sure that you get the recipe on how to make this. That is so amazing. Um, okay. So now we have our next item. Now okay. this looks fun and interesting and tasty. But it's simple. It's pale. 
Okay, this is just simple bill. Yes. So now, you know, as because of the quarantine, right, you don't want to mix all the pail and put it in one big bowl, right? Right. So what you can do is take those nice small glasses, those uh -huh. plastic glasses, mm -hmm. where you drink water or you serve uh, or any beverage in it. Mm -hmm. Just take those glasses, put all the pail in it, right? Mm -hmm. And don't mix it. Just top it off with a little bit of chutneys that you will have. Like the mint chutney, the sweet chutney, right? Right. And the safe. Do not mix it. So Do what, not mix it, you yeah. guys. So when you're making it, you don't mix it. You make a little bill. Yes. Cups. Cups. And then you put the chutneys put on on top and then a little bit of sevia, I can see. Exactly. And just put it on the table. And when people are going to grab it, they can mix it themselves. In that way, you, it doesn't get soggy if it's out for long. Yeah, because you can't. I mean, say, for example, you have 10 guests and you yes. have to make 10 of them in advance. Yes. Obviously, you can't make them right there and then. Exactly. And then after some time, it does get soggy because the rice puff sucks up the, all the juices of the milk and everything. So it kind of gets soggy. So you don't want that to happen. You still want that crispiness in it. Yeah. I so, think well, people will eat it right away. Yeah. Now, for those people who just got on, we have to show you this last little, little small plate or appetizer. It's the mango salsa with a papar and then either chicken. Um, chicken, paneer, gobi. Alu, mixed veggies, whatever. Mm -hmm. Something that is dry. Something that is dry that goes on top. And what a great small even plate. Alu tiki. Oh, yeah. You can even do an yeah. alu tiki on top. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, I don't think we have a picture, but you had told me that we could do something with an alu tiki as yes. well. Yes. So now that I showed you the chicken, right? Uh -huh. What you can do with alu tiki is like, you know, when you're mixing all the, the alu, the paneer, and all of that, whatever uh -huh. you're mixing it, right? You can actually put a beetroot paste and it turns the color. So using beetroot changes the color. Yes. It's great. And it becomes a beautiful, a beautiful reddish, color. reddish color or a pink color. So the more beetroot you put in it, right, mm -hmm. the more darker the color gets. Now, if you want to make, I made that for my husband on a Valentine day. I wanted something pink. Yes, absolutely. So I made that for him, uh, aluki tiki. And then you can actually do a green version of it by putting a paste of spinach. So uh, you don't have to use any food color uh -huh. or natural by using just spinach and beetroot. So you can use spinach paste as well. Okay, yes. very good. Yes. All right, so we have to figure out what picture we are looking at next. Now, this I feel is something which is so amazing. And it when you're like a family mm -hmm. get together, right? When this is great for families. I mean, exactly. I know if I, my kids came downstairs and even if we were going to watch our binge watch yes. blacklist, which yes. we are doing almost every yes. night. Um, and we put this in front because they always want a snack, right? Exactly. So rather than grabbing a popcorn or a bag of chips, right? Mm -hmm. If you have this, there are carrots, there's cheese, there's crackers, fruits. Um, I made that hummus at home, but you can actually buy hummus from the store. Mm -hmm. You know, cucumbers, I mean, different kind of cheese, oranges. Just keep it over there and the kids will love it. I mean, first, it looks nice. It looks very mm -hmm. fancy, right? Yes. As if you're going to have like a cheese platter or something uh, into a, in a restaurant. That's exactly what you're trying to do over here. And it's so much healthier. Yes. It's just so much healthier. And kids, they tend to grab. Yes. Even my husband, he tends yes. to grab things. And, you know, I love the cucumbers and the carrots idea. And you guys, last week we learned that um, you can take your carrots and your cucumbers you chop them in advance and then you put them in a glass <laughs> jar with water and then you put it in there. You close your jar, you seal your jar, and you put it in the refrigerator. So it is ready to eat. Your carrots and your cucumbers are ready to eat like that. And when they're ready to eat, so much easier when it's time for you to rush to the, the couch and binge watch your show. Yes, just take it out. <laughs> yep, if everything, your, your everything is already washed and ready to go, you just throw it all on one tray and you put it on the table yes. and you sit down. So make sure you guys, you guys are pre-cutting your carrots and your um, cucumbers because that's really the only way that anyone's going to eat them because I don't know anybody who wants to sit and cut the cucumbers when it's time to eat them. It is yes. a complete, it's totally. And when just, you're hungry, you're not going to go and cut everything. You know, you want to eat something that is already prepped for you. Yes. And that's you know, my question. kids always say, I'm like, well, why don't you make yourself a some, oh, we want something we can just take it and eat yes. it. And they just stare at the refrigerator. And anything they don't have to work with is what they want to grab exactly, and eat. Yes. Exactly. Yes, exactly. yes, yes. Wait, am I on the wrong picture? No, this and that's I mean, that's the setting of the table. So that's the small place that we talked about, right? I mean, yes. So when you're serving it, serving it, you're making the pleasant presentation of the food look beautiful, mm -hmm. but you also want to have the table to look beautiful. 
Okay, so you guys, now that we're we're you know sort of talking about somewhere between ten and twenty five people coming over, um, we're gonna do a lot of that outdoors. I think that right now the weather's good. We're trying to keep everyone outdoors. We want to be safe. Um, then the best thing to do is have an outdoor backyard party. So um, what Arthur and I were discussing is that you have to have fresh flowers and you have to have candles. candles. These are two things that um, we all have at home or we can pick them up at the grocery store, Whole Foods, Kroger, wherever you go grocery shopping. Um, doing these sort of things just makes the, the ambiance so much nicer. Um, I know that, you know, sometimes being outdoors, you can't be as fancy as you want to, but when you have candles and you have flowers, um, it just changes everything. Just like a pretty tablecloth on yes. a plastic table works. Yes. Yes. Any, the fresh flower works like anything. It's magic. I mean, anything, anytime you put fresh flowers on a, on a table, it just, it's so elegant. So uh, elegant. Yes. And there's now so many ideas and ways to do the fresh flowers you guys can see in the screen where the white flowers are inside and the red roses are on the outside. Mm -hmm. um, There's so many good clear um, vases and we have so many and you know, it's so nice actually, if you don't have the same vase, take out five different vases. It's yes. totally okay, right? Yes. I have a picture where I have a table that has like three different kinds of vases. So do we have that here? We, yes, we do. All right, let's look at it. I think it's the other one. Right up. Is it right here? This one. All right, you guys, look at this. Look. So these are different vases. Um, what kind of, these just look like those. Um, those are mason jars. Mason jars, yes. yes. <laughs> those look like, I was like, well, what is, those look like mason jars. So I put candles in those mason jars. That's so creative. You can do a, even a single, um, a single large flower. Yes. Or just some like daisies. Mm-hmm. You know, or you could pick some, um, you know, they have these new roses or we all, I think m many of us have rose bushes. Right. Yeah. Just pull off those roses and stack them in there. Even herbs. Oh, even just putting herbs. Herbs. Yeah. So what you can do, you can actually have mint or cilantro, whatever herbs you have. Right. And take like a one or two flowers from your, uh, from your garden uh -huh. and just put it in a mason jar. It's beautiful. It smells really nice because of the herbs. Uh huh. And it's a beautiful piece. That's a great idea. So if those of you who have not thought about it, you can use your cilantro or you can use mint. Yes. Um, and you can, dill, whatever you have, you can actually make like a nice bunch of it mm -hmm. and put it in a mason jar, you know, especially when our food has a very, uh, you know, a strong scent. It's very it, pungent. Right? Yes. The word is they have a very pungent smell. <laughs> yeah. So that actually, the herbs actually helps it. It actually neutralizes it. Okay, so you know what? While you guys are making all these amazing um, quick dishes before your guests come, one of the problems I know is that, you know, when you come outside someone's house, yeah. we have a lot of Indians in our neighborhood, <laughs> but when you get outside the house, you can smell the Indian food, even if you're not going inside. You can I'm like, of that. <laughs> mm, I mean, I, I go to people's houses and I just park the car and I'm like, oh my God, please God, I don't want to go inside. So I know that you were saying that while you cook, you actually light the candles. Yes, I do. I actually have a, either I do an oil diffuser uh -huh. or I light the candle. Okay. Because that actually uh, neutralizes the smell of the, of the onions and all those spices that we use. So while you guys are making these dishes, you need to have uh, your candle going. Yes. You need to have scents going. And I think, I believe in another episode, we are planning to tell you which candles are yes. the best in the kitchen yes. for those of you who don't know um and i'm going to experiment after you tell me so that way i have like proof that they work <laughs> so we are definitely going to do that and then in, an, in that same next session we are going to actually show you different flower arrangements ideas that you can yes. use with things that you have at home um in your refrigerator things you can pick up and very inexpensively just from the grocery store. You do not have to pick up the expense, the most expensive bunch of flowers. You can pick up something extremely inexpensive and make it very creative and beautiful. So we will definitely talk about um, how to make these different flower arrangements. And, you know, they don't just have to be full flower arrangements. They can be single flowers. They can be just some, they can just be some greens. They can yes. be your coriander and your mint from your garden or even from the, the the grocery store with maybe a flower in the middle. Just um, like we I spoke about the last time, putting all your herbs into and put it in a, in a mason jar. Take exactly. It take it out of the refrigerator and put it on the table. 
Absolutely. All right. So now this is something. So this, so we had a Valentine's Day. So that the picture before this was my Valentine's setup. Okay. The next day, my uh, my son goes, Mama, I want to do high tea. Yes. So so my when my son says, my 14 year old wants to do a high tea. So now what? So I change the same table, took the centerpiece from there, mm -hmm. put it in my on my counter, and then I said it made it up as a high tea. That looks totally different, though. It's the the yes. same the same items, completely yes. different. So you know, for all of you ladies, we do so many ladies lunches, and I have a feeling that some of these ladies lunches are now going to become high teas, where yes. we're just having snacks, we're yes. having dry items, we're having things that we can have singly. So you know, we need to really learn about the snacky foods and how we can turn our curried dinners um complicated dinners into we're giving as much food as we did before but how to make it more personalized yes i don't know we, we can i mean our friends right now I and mean, we can customize it to their palate yes to their taste right? exactly you know i mean the way they want plus these days everybody has a lot of diet restrictions and mm -hmm. allergies and stuff like that so when you do customize it you know it also shows how appreciative you are of them even for them to come to your place you yeah because now you guys when we have get-togethers it's going to be so much more personalized yes. it's going to be so much i mean we're going to dress up we're going to dress beautifully um because we still want to dress up for our friends right we still want to look good um and we want to be able to make each person feel special because i know that when i have a big get-together it's like, hi, 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 hi. Everybody's taking pictures, clicking pictures. By the end of the dinner, I don't know who came. I didn't have a chance to talk to anyone. I don't know whose kid won what. I don't know who's playing tennis. I don't know what you did last weekend. I don't know what vacation you went on. I don't know anything. But this time, if you're with 10 people, for example, 12 people, 15 people, this time, this is your time to do all of these little small plates in advance and actually spend time, spend quality time with each and every person. Well, I know when I'm spending quality time with each and every person and they're staring at me, I want to make sure that I look good. Yes. So, um, of course, after we do all this, um, we want to talk to you about what to wear. I have great suggestions of what you should wear because wearing just like jeans and a t-shirt isn't going to cut it, you guys. This is Dallas, Texas, and yes. we don't do that. So I am going to talk to you guys about what to wear. Um, I, I'm wearing a dress. Can I can I show it? Yes. All right. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, and then these are new reversible dresses that we have. We call them COVID dresses. Can you guys see? I've got my pants on underneath. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, it's just something cute. And they ha it has a matching scarf. Hey, where's the matching scarf for this dress? I don't know where the matching scarf is, but I'm going to show it to you. And you know what's cool about these dresses? Um, I'm going to show you the matching scarf, but this is a reversible dress. So give me a second. I'm going to come off screen. And I'm going to change the dress into the other side. So that you guys can see what I'm wearing. And I mean, literally, if you had to go somewhere two days in a row and you can't think of what to wear, well, you could just wear the same dress. Probably, you're probably going to meet different people. And here is the same dress. This is the reverse side of the same dress I just wore. And, here's and uh -huh, here's a scarf that goes with both sides. And this is something that you literally can use as a mask when you're uncomfortable. If you try getting a little bit close to people, you definitely want to wear your scarf. I am going to show you guys. This is um, the pant version of this. So we have Megan Gandhi here, one of our COVID models, beautifully modeling the pants of the same outfit. So she has the same scarf that I have on, and then she's got the pants and a short blouse, which looks so cute. And it's also reversible completely. So she can actually have the other side, exactly what I'm wearing. This, she can have this print right here as her other side of her pant and her dress. And then we also have, we have so many different prints, you guys. I've got um, Sagarika here and she's wearing the dress. Go. And then here's the pant version right here. Let me show you the pant version of the same thing. And she's actually turned it inside out. It's super amazing. 
So here it is. Here's your pants. And here's your blouse. And these are so comfortable. And they're comfortable. They're pretty. They can be worn out by the pool. And then here, you guys, is the other side of this dress. It's so cute. So it's two dresses in one. You turn it completely inside out the way that she had it on. And I'll show you guys that again. That is the same pantsuit as this. Oh, I can't show you guys on two screens. But this is the other side. So, and then you wear your scarf. Um, as they is as Megan has, she's put it on her head and then you just wrap it, you wrap the scarf around your mouth and there is your built in, built in mask. Now this is made out of a Georgette and Georgette is known to be one of the best fabrics to protect you from the COVID-19. And I am, I happen to be wearing Mona Jane earrings, which I completely love. You guys see it? I think did it go backwards? There you go. Check these out. I love. So they've those got birds. little flowers. They're so pretty, and they go beautifully with this peach color. So this is a rose gold. I absolutely love them. She has them on sale for forty two dollars. And then we have uh, Chef right here, <laughs> Chef Arthi, modeling for the first time <laughs> Mona's um, necklace, which I loved. She was just wearing a plain shirt. And I said, oh, my God, this is going to look so nice with your shirt. And it's so pretty, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it just dressed her up. And I think it's just something great. You know, wear a good piece of jewelry. Wear a nice dress. Make sure that you look nice. Because even if we're in quarantine, you guys, we have to take pictures. Yep. Very important. So I love these. Oh, I have one more thing to show you guys. I want to show you guys this one look. more top. Hold on. I'm changing, changing. <laughs> Grab me that top. Here you go. One more thing that I think is super amazing to wear outdoors when you're going to meet your friends. Um, super duper cute. And you can do this with like shorts. I love that top. Yep, you can do this with shorts. All right, you guys, look. It's not the cutest top. And I've got my pants on and I've got cute shoes on. And I, I mean, and you can just do this like this. And it looks so good on. I mean, it's just so cute, right? So I love what I'm wearing and I, I feel good. I feel confident. I know that my pictures are going to come out great. So make sure you guys that when you're going to meet your friends now, even if you're one couple or two couples or just right. two friends, please make sure you guys look good. I mean, we're so tired of day pajamas and night pajamas. That's just not <laughs> happening. That is just not happening. All right. Next, Dorothy, where are we going to next? All right. So we are going to, as we had promised, I was going to show people about using one ingredient and you can make five dishes. Out oh of yes. Okay. So we're going to choose, we're choosing one ingredient, you guys, and so, you can see what it is. So we are actually going to use puff pastries. Right? Okay. Now puff pastries, you can find in any grocery store, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So I, um, you can actually use that as a breakfast, mm -hmm. as an appetizer, mm -hmm. um, as a snack. Mm -hmm. You know, or even sometimes a main course also when you want to eat something light in the night. Mm -hmm. And we have a beautiful plate over here. Okay, you guys, I'm going to hold up this plate. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but all right. And we did take a picture of it too just yes. now. So Arthi so creatively made this beautiful plate for us. So this, you guys, is a Silk Threads plate. It's The company is called La Bliss. And um, it's beautiful. Now you can actually take this tray and, you know, it could be your husband bringing you breakfast in bed. All right. Look at this tray, you guys. This tray is absolutely beautiful. It's from La Bliss. We have a beautiful collection of trays here at Silk Threads. And tell us what all you've decorated with. Okay. So we have fruits over here, right? Uh -huh. So I decorated this as if it was a breakfast. Okay. Right? So your husband is bringing you breakfast in bed. So we got fruits, mm -hmm. right? We got some cheese. Mm -hmm. Now we have salt and pepper here, but rather if you don't want salt and pepper, mm -hmm. you can have some nice wine, you know, yeah. flutes with mimosas. Exactly, in it. mimosa um, flutes. That candles. would go perfectly right here. Yes. Oh, you guys can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can do this. Okay. I'll pick up this tray. So, so you can pick it up and sh you can show everybody. Okay, so rather than doing this, we can take this out and put mimosas over here. 
Now we have a nice, beautiful candle holder here, mm -hmm. but you can use it as a candle holder. You can use it as a small watch. You can use it as, yeah, you can put flowers yeah, in there. Yeah, you can put flowers in there. You can put napkins in there. Napkins so many things there. you can do Rose with this. petals in there, right? Yes. Just to give you that, that nice romantic touch to it. Then you have the food plate over here, and over here you have some cheese. Now you can put cheese or chutneys or, you know, whatever you want. Uh -huh, maybe a jam. Yeah. Maybe a jam. a jam. Okay, you guys, I'm going to put that picture back up so you guys can see what all we have there. There's our fruits. And let's go back to the, there we go. There's from the top. Yes. Isn't that a beautiful tray, you guys? All right, you know what? We have a lot of comments and a lot of, let's see. Do we have questions? I do have the tea lights going on when I cook. Good, Jaya. That's really good. Um, okay, I'm not seeing questions yet. I guess that we're covering everything so well. <laughs> um, okay, so we are here to talk about puff pastries, you guys. So on the on the um, on the screen, you guys see puff pastries made three different ways. This but, is three different ways. But we have five different ways. I have a five different ways to show. And you guys can click on the link above, and you can put your email address to ask for the recipes of how to make puff pastries five different ways. And Arthi, please explain it to yes. us. The first one that you see over here, the long, uh, it's called twisted. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you know, we all love cinnamon twists. Like uh -huh. the kids love cinnamon twists. Yes. You can actually make that from a puff pastry, right? Correct. So what you're going to do, cut into strips, right? Twist it, brush it a little bit with butter, mm -hmm. sprinkle cinnamon and sugar mm -hmm. on top of it, bake it. Okay. That's it. Plain, simple, easy. That's all you have to do it. It doesn't give it too much sugary, like too much of sugar, mm -hmm. but it gives you a hint of cinnamon and sugar in the sweetness in it. So it's not too sweet. You know, I love these, but when I get them from the store or yeah. from a bakery, they are so sweet because they're they're covered with yes. actual sugar yes. granules. Yes. Oh my God, I can have like a bite and I'm like, ooh. Yeah, that's too much. So this actually just gives you a hint of it. And it's perfect. It's perfect like as a snack. The mm -hmm. kids love it. My kids love it. They will eat this all day. Even my husband eats it like a dessert. Okay. Now, um, somebody's asking if you, here, Madhu. Madhu is asking if you have any recipes made in an air fryer. Um, I do. Yes. But I don't have it over here. But I do have recipes that is made in air fryer. And can you make puff pastries? You, no. This is not. So this, this is has to be in the oven, yeah, right? this has to be in the oven. Because, you know, you need that crunchiness of it to come so i've never tried it in air fryer but probably that's a good idea maybe i should try it all right mother that's a great question so those of you who are interested in um seeing something in an air fryer um that is something that we will definitely cover yes. things that you can actually have an air fryer as well as um have actually all the small plates uh -huh. that i showed before with the chicken the paneer and everything mm -hmm. you can actually make it in air fryer Okay, so the very yes. first one. So we'll tell you how to make it in an air fryer as well. That is something yes. that will be emailed to you. You guys, I just wanted to put this really close so you guys could see it. So this is the puff that we're talking about. It's yes. just got some cinnamon on it. And I did taste it a little earlier. And can I please have a bite of this? Please. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm. It's nice and crunchy, too. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's not too sweet. It's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. But you can actually do a numpkin of this, a savory. Okay, so, so you can do the sweet or savory. or savory. So now for savory, all you have to do is twist it like like I said before, right? Mm -hmm. Take butter or olive oil, mm -hmm. chop up some garlic, uh -huh. um, some herbs, mm -hmm. mint, parsley, whatever herbs you have, okay? Like finely chop it, right? Put it in the butter with the brush. Just brush it on the puff pastry. Okay, so you guys, you're going to learn how to make this with cinnamon so that it's just a little light. Yes. You guys, this is perfect for your um, morning tea or with your green tea. This I is, that. yeah, and it's not too sweet. It's just, it tastes more cinnamony yes. and I love cinnamon. Yes. So, and then we'll teach you how to make this with garlic and yes. um, make it more savory. More savory. Yes, so it's so more chutney for Indian people. Indian people. Like. Yeah. Yes. All right, for those of you who are not, don't have a sweet tooth. Okay, what's the next? Okay, the next one is the Danish. All right, so this you is know? a Danish, you guys. Look, can you see it? Oh, let's try it again. I know you guys, I'm touching all this. You know I'm going to eat it all. <laughs> so this is the Danish. It's the same exact puff pastry. Yes. So this is so simple. 
and easy. You know, these, if you go and buy it, it's so expensive in mm -hmm. the store, right? Mm -hmm. So this, you have jam in it, mm -hmm. right? Cut a square, right? Mm -hmm. And then all you have to do is fold. Take the corner and fold in the center. Mm -hmm. And then on the center, just press it so that it doesn't come out. Mm -hmm. Put some jam, any jam, strawberry any jam. jam, peach jam, whatever jam you want. Mm -hmm. Put it on top of it, right? Mm -hmm. Sprinkle some cinnamon sugar, mm -hmm. bake it. Okay, and then can you also do this with cheese? Yes. Okay, so you guys can also do this with cheese. For those who are cheese lovers and you don't want it to be sweet, you can do this with cheese as well. Yes, cream cheese. Cream cheese is the best. Yes, cream the cheese, cream cheese will, uh, goes absolutely perfect. With so either jam or cream cheese on this. And yes. then let's see what, now what is this, this next one that you have? Okay, so now the next one is actually a very great appetizer. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is an appetizer. Yes. Oh, this is great. I mean, you guys, single appetizers. Yes. It's single app, but you can also, for kids, mm -hmm. you can make it as a meal. Like if you give them three or four, mm -hmm. right, with fruits and carrots and cucumbers, it becomes a meal. Absolutely. So, so what what's I, in here? So I made a turkey out of So I. This is ground turkey? This is ground turkey. It's my favorite and my kids' favorite. Simple. The only thing you have to remember is do not use tomatoes when you're filling these cups. Okay, no tomatoes while filling yes, these cups, you guys. Tomatoes has it's water, uh -huh. right? So it's gonna actually not cook the base and not get very crispy. Okay. So do not use. So I just use onions, mm -hmm. turkey, mm -hmm. and taco seasoning. Okay, so do you make it first and then? Okay, so here's a step. So cut a square of puff pastry. Uh huh. Right. Take a muffin tin. Mm -hmm. Put it. Uh, put the puff pastry square in the muffin tin. Mm -hmm. Right, and then the cooked turkey or ground chicken or ground lamb what are, or yeah. paneer, uh -huh. anything, right? Put it in it, in mm. that, in that uh, puff pastry nice and country. bake it. Oh, it's tasty, you guys. And then you can top it up mm. with mint chutney or, you know, like hot and sweet chili sauce on top Okay, of next it. time you guys who are watching, we'll do like small groups of five of you guys and I'm gonna make you come over and I'm gonna make this for you. <laughs> We're gonna do this. And if I can't make it, we're catering for Marthy. <laughs> this is so good. I don't know if I can make all this. Maybe I might be able to make one thing on my own. I always have to cater for Marthy. But that is so good. And you can, you, this is so versatile. You can put anything in it, like paneer bhurji. Oh, yeah. You can do a paneer bhurji yes. in this. Yeah. You guys can do your vegetarian, non vegetarian. Or you can make kofta, just plain kofta. Put the kofta in it. That and is such it. a great idea. And then you put a sauce on top of it. Okay. All so right, you, you guys. The crunchiness. Yes. All right. One more thing you can do is mm -hmm. cut squares of puff pastry. Uh huh. Right. Bake it in the oven. Uh -huh. Just small squares. Mm -hmm. Right. Take it out. Three fifty degrees for fifteen twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Take it out. Once you take it out, right, just poke a hole in the center. Mm -hmm. Right. So it it's it's basically um you know it's it puffs up right that's why it's called puff uh -huh. pastry right. Uh -huh. Chole, apne jo chole hote, right? Right. Just take chole, put it in the center. It becomes like a chole batura. That is a great idea. Okay, so I see lots of questions. What temperature and how long to bake? How long do you bake? I see a couple of people asking here. All right, so do we have instructions? Do you have a brand, a particular puff pastry brand that you like? Um, I don't have a, I make my own puff pastry at home. Of course you do. She makes her own puff pastry at home. So if you guys really want this, you just have to ask her to make it for you. No, but you can get any puff pastry from any grocery store. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. I make it because I'm a baker, right? Mm -hmm. So I need those puff pastries quite a bit. So mm -hmm. I make make it at home. It's it's a it's quite a test, but you know, get it from the store, uh, any store. Any okay, so we're gonna store. give you guys a recipe of how to make the puff puff pastry, and we're also gonna figure out which brand. Okay. And we're going to put it in there as an as a substitute. So for those of you who want the actual recipes, you want the amount of time to bake, and you want actual instructions, I'll also send you these pictures so that you know what they're supposed yeah. to look like. And I'll give you different options of what to put in them. Um, go ahead and click on the link above this video and put your email address and write recipe so that I know what I'm sending you. Um, it'll take me probably a day or two to do this, but I will send you guys the ready-made uh, puff pastry brand that you should buy or how to make the puff pastries at home. And Arthi is going to provide us with um, the different things that you can fill it with and how to fill it and what to cut, how long to bake it for, 
Um, and what is the cooking time for each one of these so we can figure out what we want to make. Um, did I miss anything? No, you covered it all. All right, you guys. So I am very excited about this. I'm going to show you guys this picture one more time because I just think it's so pretty. Look at that. She's done. She clicked a picture from the side, from all the sides, the puff pastries. And then, of course, from the top, you guys, this tray is absolutely beautiful. It is uh, the company is La Bliss. We carry it here at Silk Threads. Um, we have a beautiful collection of trays. I can also um, WhatsApp you or text you or email you pictures of the different trays we have with the prices. And, um, of course, all these different puff pastry ideas, um, how to make them and um, to make them as appetizers, as to make them as single things. This I love. I mean, a Father's Day is coming up, and I think that we could probably do this yes. for dad in bed, right? This would be great for the kids, a little bit of fruit, and in the place of the salt and pepper shaker, maybe you just have salt or you just have pepper, and put a, a mimosa, you know, or a glass of champagne yeah. um, for dad to eat. I think this would be amazing. Father's Day is coming, you guys. So definitely we want to do that. Um you and can put a beer can instead of you can candle. put a beer can instead of a candle. <laughs> now somebody asked what the candle was propped up on. We actually just have something we put the candle, but you need to get a thicker candle and stick it in there probably. Mm -hmm. um, and then you just put a small glass plate underneath just to to hold it. So you guys can see, I just put a fake candle for today because we're in the studio, and I just have a stand underneath it. Um, I hope that answers your question. Let me see if there's any more questions. Um, no, I don't see any other more uh, questions, but you guys are free to inbox any questions that you have. Tickle Your, your Palette um, is Arthi Chakrabarti's page where she's just so much information. We want you guys to be on there. Um, and of course, we're going to be doing this every Monday and Thursday. On Thursday, we have an event coordinator, Jignasa Sharma, who is actually going to talk to us about the future of events. So this Thursday at 5 p.m., we're going to talk to you about the future of events. So those of you who have booked parties already in the fall, whether it be a milestone birthday or an anniversary party or a wedding, um, we're also going to have, she's bringing on a manager from a hotel to tell us what, what they're doing now. I mean, the gloves, the, the service, and all the different things that are going through us so that we know that we are safe. There are so many safety measures for all these big events that are scheduled for the fall because i know that weddings are not canceled this fall you guys um milestone birthdays and anniversaries are not canceled september october november december they are happening so just for you guys to know how hotels are handling all of the safety issues um and all the things that are going into event planning that is this thursday at five o'clock right here at silk threads and um we will have arthi back on next week and she is going to talk to us about um what the flower arrangements should look like, what the table decor should look like, how to set things up so they look beautiful, and we'll have more recipes for you. So thank you so much for being on. I want to wish everyone a Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to all of our friends that are celebrating. Um, blessings to everyone. And thank you for watching today. And if you have any more questions, please put the comments on, and I will look at them for the next 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And um, please sign up, um, send the email, email address so that we can send you your recipes. And I think we are about done. If you guys have anything else, do you have anything to add? I, I'm good, I'm good. If you have any questions, just put it down and I will try and answer them as soon as possible. Absolutely, you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Design Your Life with Ruby Bhandari and Arthi Chakrabarti. Bye-bye. <laughs>